we got the most bizarre submissions on electoral polling that I remember seeing since I got into covering politics. Um, bizarre. I mean, like diametrically opposed polling from very respected pollsters on the same states and the same groups in their final election polls. I mean, it's just, it's a lot to take in. So we're going to break it down for you. First, we're going to take on that shocker of a poll out of Iowa. The Des Moines Register poll has long been considered the gold standard of polling. In June, when President Biden was still in the race, it found Trump running away with this race, ahead by 18 points in that state, which is red. By September, with Vice President Kamala Harris atop the Democratic ticket, Trump's lead was just four points. Now that poll has Harris ahead by three. Okay, so we've gone from Trump ahead by four to Harris leading in a red state, if you believe this poll, by three. That's a 21-point swing from June. It's a seven-point swing from just a couple months ago, but it remains within the margin of error. Nevertheless, the poll sent shockwaves through political circles. For the record, Mr. Trump won Iowa in both 16 and 20, and his team is saying this is complete BS. The Iowa pollster does not reveal her crosstabs. It's a lot of behind the black curtain stuff, and there is a belief that she has oversampled Democrats in the poll, though she's got a strong record. She's not always right, but she's got a strong record. Then another Iowa poll over the weekend from our friends over at Emerson, another gold standard, has Trump up in Iowa by 10 points, <laughs> 10 points. So we'll have to wait and see who's right there. Moving on to the battleground states that we've been talking about for months, we're going to discuss a pair of polls that are also considered among the best. Both came out over the weekend. First, the New York Times Siena poll. According to that poll, there have been some major shifts in the race. Ms. Harris, they say, now up over Mr. Trump in Nevada, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Georgia. But all are within the margin of error. All of them. In its prior polling, former President Trump had been leading in every one of those states except Wisconsin. This poll finds the two candidates are tied in Pennsylvania and in Michigan. In its prior polling, Ms. Harris had been up. And Mr. Trump is ahead in Arizona, according to this poll, only by four. This is the only state that is outside the margin of error. The New York Times includes this giant asterisk in its reporting of its own poll. They say white Democrats, Democrats, were much more likely to respond to their polling than white Republicans, meaning this poll could be grossly underestimating Trump's support yet again. One would ask, why put it out with that kind of an asterisk? Why would you feel solid about the state of your poll with that kind of an I mean, there's only like two main players in this race, and you're telling us that you might be severely underestimating Trump's support. <laughs> okay, so why, query, would you do that? Shifting gears over to the Atlas Intel polling, which was the most accurate pollster last time around, four years ago. In its latest polling of those exact same battleground states we just went through, former President Trump is ahead in all seven. Can you believe this shit? <laughs> is your head ready to explode? Yes, Atlas has Trump up in Nevada, in North Carolina, in Wisconsin, in Georgia, in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, and in Arizona. The race is close in all of those states except Nevada and Arizona, where Atlas says he's up by six. All of this is to say polls are polls. <laughs> there have been dramatic swings. There will be a lot of hand rigging today and tomorrow. The only thing you can do about it is vote if you haven't already and go to sleep tonight knowing no one knows anything about anything. No one knows anything about anything on these polls. Do not believe the polls. Just vote. Okay, just vote. And stop worrying about these horse race numbers, which at this point have very low credibility. And when you vote, I urge you to vote for Donald Trump. I urge you to vote for Donald Trump. You know how much my family and I love our dogs, right? I can't even imagine life without them. They've got a great life, but some dogs are not so lucky. And that's why I'm so glad to tell you about Delta Rescue. It's the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. They have rescued thousands of dogs, plus cats and horses, too. They provide all the animals with shelter, safety, and most of all, love. 
and they've been doing it for more than 45 years now. Delta Rescue relies solely on contributions, and giving can bring tax benefits, too. Speak with your estate planner about how you can grow your estate while helping animals in need. And check out the estate planning tab on their website to learn more. We love our Thunder and Strudwick, but would like for other dogs who need love to find it, too. Visit DeltaRescue.org today to learn more. That's DeltaRescue.org. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.